Hey, uh, TJ, just want to give you a heads up. I'm actually going to build out another scheme for you. Uh, so um, this is going to be out of the single back Y trips. This is one of my favorite under center formations, uh, primarily because there's a lot of really great plays in it. Um, right now, if you take a look at the audibles, we have stick, we have the play action Y glance. Uh, and also the other audible is going to be the uh, four verticals. Of these audibles, I'm only going to leave four verticals in place because it's a very vers versatile play and it's going to give you an opportunity to really attack your opponent. Now, um, I don't want to use halfback power all. I don't want, I want to have an inside zone. So we're going to go ahead and change these out. First and foremost, stick. I'm going to switch this out for with a play that I really love. This is a play that's it's just very, very hard to stop, and it's a flanker under. So we're going to go ahead and select that as our quick audible for the square. Uh, four verticals are going to leave the same. Halfback power O. I want to go with something a little bit different. So we're going to go with the halfback blunt dive or smash. Either one of the two. I'm going to go with halfback blunt dive. And then play action Y, glance. We're going to swap this out for a big cover three beater, which is going to be a play action draw shot. And it's going to complement uh, basically the play I like to call out of the huddle, which is going to be the halfback pump draw. Now, this is go we're going to run this against random um, man blitzes and then kind of go from there. I do want to let you know that the draw play um, obviously is not uh, a good play against any kind of man blitzes. Uh, draw plays usually will get blown up, but I want to show you where you can get an opportunity to score some big time plays uh, with, uh, with the draw. So let's go ahead and see here. So uh, right here, you know, you could just do, if you got a guy that's running a lot of heavy man uh, blitzes, essentially what you could do is just do the inside zone. As far as our audibles, um, flanker under, this is going to be the play that you're really going to blow your opponent up uh, with uh, with any kind of man read. So you have uh, the outside Jones that you can actually hit your opponent with, but also Hopkins Brown is really going to be where you're going to be watching with this first play, which is going to be a flanker under. Watch Brown's defender, and if his defender follows him, this deep corner route should be wide open pretty much the majority of the time. It's, it's going to be very hard for anybody that uses man uh, man against you to stop this corner route. And if you've got some pretty good route running, obviously you can get yourself a situation like this where you're going to get yourself a house touchdown uh, with it. And uh, with other coverages too, that, that route will be wide open. So this is going to be a route, uh, coverage we're going to look, uh, look at uh, in, on the backside. Watch Jones route. Let's see if we get enough time. No, we didn't get enough time. I should have probably blocked a little bit more. Let's just go ahead and block a little bit more because I know I know my guy is actually going to be running uh, a lot of heavy blitzes. Watch his Jones route. If you throw it once the icon, you actually can get an easy 10-yard gain or two with that. Uh, the drag underneath is uh, obviously another route that you can go ahead and drop it down with pretty confidence. Uh, but you can see he only gets a couple yards. So that's a good play to go ahead and throw into. Uh, if uh, against your opponent if he is uh, basically if you only need a couple yards uh, because you can see I'm only getting two yards on that play it's it's so you know if you get a, you need a first down and you're only a couple yards out you can jump into it four verticals is four verticals this is the way I like to run four verticals um, either doing uh, a drag underneath or uh, what I could do is do a deep comeback route uh, the deep comeback route needs more time and, but it is going to be an opportunity for you to get an easy completion against man blisters. So you got to make sure that the, the line holds up for you. If you go ahead, um, let's just go ahead and run this ball. No one, no one runs this defense um, uh, unless they want to get burnt up top. So let's just go ahead and, and run four verticals against man blisters. You do the drag off the back end side. And uh, basically, it's going to be high low more than anything else. So I didn't get a lot of yards right there. I only picked up a few yards. Let's see if we can do that again against man blitzers. Kelsey's route should get some pretty good separation. So you can see right here, that's going to be an opportunity where you can get a, a possession catch over the middle uh, against man blitzers. So let's just try it one more time. High, low. And I couldn't get it off. Couldn't get it off because the pressure was coming in. So I, that's why I like to do the high percentage passes like flank uh, runner. Playback draw, uh, play, uh, play uh, action draw shot. Now this is where things are going to open up because this is going to be... Um, uh, a basic pl a play that's going to give you an opportunity for a huge touchdown opportunity. So watch, look at us, rack that puppy, take off with it, Julio. I uh, get it, almost get, get an opportunity for a, 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 a one play touchdown. So if you got a guy that runs a lot of heavy man blitzes against you, you can use this audible, and you got basically seven people blocking for you. Uh, and this is going to give me an opportunity to go and get that one play touchdown. You got, oh god. See, the defender actually felt was falling back in a deep zone. 
and I couldn't get rid of that ball. So, uh, all right, so once again, it's just using man blitzes here. That's a goal line defense. We're just going to run the ball just to get the ball off again. Let's try this one more time. Let's see if we can get this uh, to go. So play action animation and one play touchdown opportunity. Come on, catch it and beat your man. Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Okay, so uh, defensive back still stayed with that. That's it's kind of funny that you have that type of opportunity. Uh, also, uh, with this particular play, you also have this area that you can go ahead and attack your opponent. Look at that defensive back actually making a play right there for you. But that's another area that if he, he's playing um, zero coverage that uh, you can attack them. So it, it's going to give you an opportunity. Most people are going to play the middle of the field against man blitzes. They're going to try to stay in the middle to take away those fast reads. So this is an opportunity to go and attack your opponent uh, with any kind of man blitzes uh, for his opportunities for one play touchdown. So, so you can see right here, another opportunity for one play touchdown against any guy that does a lot of heavy man blitzing. you got seven blockers. So let's go ahead and jump into cover two and uh, basically see how this is going to work against cover two. Let's go ahead and choose a new play. And going into new play right here. All right, so sorry. Uh, go back to the halfback draw, concept cover two. And I, I really haven't labbed a lot with cover two, but uh, uh, once again, uh, let's make sure we, we get ourselves a defense that's gonna be a little bit more consistent. This draw play is very, very good. It's a, it's a good running play against your opponent. It's going to give you pretty good blocking. Uh, that was a look like uh, so. Those are linebacker blitz on that. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. So you're going to get pretty good blocking with it, and it's going to give you an opportunity. So I was holding the turbo right there. Trust me, uh, you'll see gameplay with me. I've used this play a lot as as my base running play, and it gives you an opportunity to pick up some pretty easy yards and establishes your run. And then if you got a guy that's really starts stacking his line, so if you got an inside blitz like this, like this. Just go ahead and hit him with a with a draw with a with the dive play, and that's a compliment to it. Let's take a look at um, flanker under. All right, so flanker under um, really all, a lot of the action is going to be off the right hand side. We're going to watch Brown and Hopkins. If the defender follows Brown, Hopkins will be wide open for a huge completion. He does. See, look at this opportunity. You're going to be able to hit this corner because that defender came down. Let's show let's show this to an instant replay. You're just going to watch that route that underneath route and he's going to determine where we're going to go with the ball so watch this route right here so if the defender follows look how he bites boom bites this cor this corner is not in a position to play this out this corner route and you're going to be able to get an easy you know uh, looks like 15 yards right there yeah so 15 yards completion uh for uh, and if you if you get a nice good spin move animation they could go to house with that so let's go ahead and just run this again against cover two so we're going to go into this particular play right here watch if he bites could, and now you got a little dump down if the defender doesn't bite enough where you can get that corner out. So you can actually just check it down for five yards. Let's go ahead and watch. Does he bite? Nope. We're just going to go and check it down and pick up, you know, a good five yards underneath right there. So that's just going to be one of those flat plays. If he does a hard flat, he's setting himself up for the corner out. So that's what's cool about the combination of these routes. Uh, you can just keep pounding him uh, underneath for a five yard gainer. Um, to get an, uh, an easy completion with this, this route. Now the backside with Jones is dead. Uh, the, the corner route is actually going to do that. And look at this two. This is wide open for a cover for a cover two beater. And Kelsey's going house unless he does a deep zone back there. So this the way the combination of these routes with, with cover two, this is going to give you an opportunity to go ahead. You have a fast read. Does he bite? Nope, and I've got, he's got to have to put a, a deep uh, a deep blue out there. And then on top of it, you've got that little route underneath, which is brown, that you can check it down to. So he's going to have to pick his poison. Does he want to defend the deep ball or he wants to de uh, defend, the, uh, then the, defend the drag? And you've got basically four different routes that you can attack. Let's see if we can get this. No, I threw that right into coverage. I tried to force it in there. But you'll see if he plays hard flats, that corner route will be wide open. And sometimes if the guy carries, he uh, you'll basically be able to get that. So look at that. I'm picking up a five or, five or six yards right there underneath the flat. So um, no action off the left-hand side with that. Uh, four verticals. So four verticals. Once again, we're just going to go ahead and drag up Hopkins. And we're just going to look high-low. And guess who's uh, wide open on the back end side against uh, basically cover two? You got that uh, that route right there because they have to defend 
um, that route. So this is a good way to go and attack your opponent off the left-hand side. I didn't really want to put four verticals on there because four ver four verticals is just a play that has been, you know, a lot of people have been using four verticals for the, for the longest time. It's one of the standard staple plays in Madden. But you have to leave it in if it's going to be effective. And it also makes it easier for it to set up. Uh, for for a big play. So this is just a good way to go and catch your opponent off guard uh, with a nice deep corner out on the back end side and that area is going to be cleared out. So I'm just I'm constantly just going ahead and attacking and look look at us. I'm just I could I hit I could have hit the drag that was wide open that was that was carried. This this defender does not follow this route on the back side. So watch just right open for a good 25 yard gainer just to catch your opponent off guard. So if he's got to defend one side, then he, then he come back around to the other side, it's gonna be very hard to stop. Play action, draw shot. Now, one of the things I like to do, if, if I got a guy who's not doing a, heavy, a lot of heavy man blitzing, I'm gonna go ahead and drag up uh, my tight end on the back end side, and he's gonna go ahead and give me a reads right here. So this is gonna be the route that's gonna give you uh, the separation you're looking for against cover two and I think the wheel route is too so let's go ahead and take a peek at the wheel route on the back end side I've been labbing this against cover three more than I've been labbing against cover two so let's go ahead and take a look at this you got the drag route right here this actually gets taken out by the defender but look at this wheel route this wheel route is naked right here so you can actually do like a, a nice little pass lead off to the right hand side and that should be wide open so if you watch the defender follow it's it just basically that's going to be a sideline pass so see if we can get this off again and see if we, we get um, uh, confused by the computer. So let's see here. We got the, the animation. Draw play. Nope. So you can see right there the defender actually floated up to take away that, that, uh, that route right there. So let's go ahead and see if, if that underneath route was wide open. So I'm going to take a peek once again at this. Defender floats away. This route right here is taken away. So uh, that cloud flat takes that away. And this route actually eventually clears up. So, of the th of the three passing plays, this play is probably most likely going to get shut down with a cover two shell, um, uh, primarily because you can see this is pretty locked up. So I probably would not run this against cover two a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and try it one more time and just take a peek at it and see if this is going to be a good play for cover two. All right, so yeah, so he could he could take that away. He could take this 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 uh, post way. So I'd probably use the other two plays against cover two and just try to get him out of the shell. So um, let's go ahead and jump into cover three and show you how that uh, these 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 routes can basically go and abuse your opponent. So let's go ahead and choose a new play. Get to get into cover three now. So let's go ahead and once again uh, single back draw. I love this because I got this draw play. It's very difficult to stop. I'm going to go into random cover threes. We get a single high safety. This is where things get fun. Okay, so first and foremost, you got your draw. So you're going to get your opportunity to get these little inside runs. Uh, yeah, obviously the best thing to do is not <laughs> hold your turbo. Uh, or you could do the you could do this uh, blunt uh, blunt dive that gives you an opportunity to run in the inside. You could do the smash play if you want to, but it, it, it's I like to establish this draw play because it's it's a very effective running play against people that use a lot of zone coverages, um, and then people start expecting it and it's going to set this this offense up. Flank or under. Same reads as last time. You can look at Jones off to the left, but you want only on an island. Um, if a defender floats out there, that route is dead. But we're going to be looking uh, for the crossing route, and the defender follows. He does, uh, and you can still go and hit that deep corner. So if, if the defender bites down to, uh, to that, that crossing route, that's going to be the area of the field you want to go to. So let's see here. Nobody in the flat, and just got a nice little spin move right there. And let's go ahead and take a look at this route. Like, this is a play that you can run religiously. Look at this. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. You can you could basically hit the guy to seam. You got the high low. Uh, it's just the way this these the route combinations uh, with this uh, this Kansas City uh, in route. It's just very hard to defend. Ooh, I threw. I tried to squeeze it in there. That wasn't a good read. You want to go with the high percentage passes with this against cover three because cover three is going to float up and it's going to allow you to go and attack your opponent off the back end side. So uh, another great cover three beater that I like to use is four verticals. Now there's a couple ways you can run it. You can run it just like you did with cover two. So if you get a cover three with a cover two look, I'd run it this way. Uh, but if you've got a cover three shell like this, 
you can run it this way. You take Brown and put him in a deep comeback route. Now, my big Russians are going to be watching Hopkins. They're going to watch the defender over Hopkins and see what he does. If he peels off and goes to Brown, um, I'm basically going to be looking to hit the seam or the underneath route with uh, with the, uh, the the running back. So watch to see if he defends. Nope. Well, yeah, he does. Here we go. So the running back route should be wide open. Uh, another thing you could do is you could block the running back and bring uh, that backside receiver, which is Jones, on the back inside and put him on a route. So this is this is my read. These are my progressions. I'm going to watch the defender, see if he checks up. Nope. All right. So now this is going to be easy completion for you for 20 or for, you know, a good 15 yards is watching this read. And unless someone is actually putting a defender out there, this is an easy completion against guys that run cover three. So I just watch this guy right here. And if this defender keeps following, this route this route is going to be wide open. Nobody falls back there, and it's such an easy progression, and, and there's not going to be anything in the area. And then also, if, if the defender floats out, I can go ahead and just hit this. And if the defender floats over, I can always, always go ahead and squeeze this ball uh, with a pass lead off to the right, off the hash, and hit, throw it right in this area too. So this, it's kind of a, like a high-low type situation. So uh, what if we run it this way? So once again, we can go ahead and run uh, the, the cover two beater. And as you can see, uh, you actually have an opportunity to squeeze it in there. The defender actually floated with it. But if you see, if you see your, uh, you see the uh, your opponent running a lot of cover three, you can do a, a deep dig rod on the backhand side, and you can actually complete that. So actually, that defender should have played that ball. You know, if you're playing mutt, he would have caught that. Let's see if we can try this one more time. Just go ahead and pop him with the crosser, nice little spin move, get a nice 10-yard gainer. So that's just another way to do it. So what I got excited about with this play is this right here, which is play action draw shot. Once again, um, I know my opponent is running a lot of zone coverages, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put one extra uh, wide receiver out there. We're going to drag up Kelsey. And I want you to watch uh, this route right here and how you get crazy separation. All right, so it's really not that route. It's actually the out, of, it's the in and up is which is going to give you um, the, the route or the, the read that's really going to be uh, cool for you. So watch this. Look at this. He's got, a, he's got a, a lead on his man, and you can look. I'm picking up, like, what, 50 yards on that particular play? And if, if, if the ball is right on the money, uh, it, it, so let's, let's try this one more time. Come on. If the ball is right in the money, watch the defender. The defender, the, the, the zone defender is completely out of position. And you got your number one receiver. You're going to be able to go house with him with this going to play. So that's what I really like about this play against cover three. It's just, it really destroys it. And if, he, if he's used to seeing uh, that draw play, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. So if he's used to seeing that draw play, basically he's going to have a hard time uh, distinguishing it so he's gonna see the same animation and now look at this oh uh, you got a little bit tight right there I threw the ball a little bit early I sure probably threw it a little bit late but if you get that you get that single high safety you're gonna get an opportunity to go ahead and get this one play touch on so let's go ahead and see if we get it nope defender sh 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 uh, basically uh, shades off so we're just gonna take the crosser over the middle of the field. Uh, that wheel route pretty much is something I'm not looking for. So if I'm running against cover three, I want to get that one play touchdown. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this. No, I had to get rid of the ball quick, but you can see I did a nice, a nice little aggression catch right there in front of the, the wide receiver's place. All right, so this is where, yeah, this is, once again, this is what we're looking for. I'm running random cover threes. Single high safety is going to give me a tell that I can go, I can jump into this play. So I'm going to go ahead, run the play. And I'm a pass lead off to the sideline uh, to get that play. Now, I got rid of the ball a little bit too quick, but I'm playing against one of the best defensive backfields um, in the game. But you can see how that actually gives that. Oh, wow. Uh, there was a nice little block shit right there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take that off the back inside. So that's kind of a risky play right there. So this is basically cover three shells. Let's take a look at cover four for you. Um, as far as running this scheme, we're going to go and switch this out. This is a scheme where you need to have field, so I probably wouldn't run this uh, on the sec on the other half of the field uh, because uh, you're you're going to lose a couple of your plays. Uh, you're going to lose that deep bomb play opportunity. So when you're on the uh, when you're on your opponent's side of the field, you're like uh, 30 yards in or close to the red zone. I'd probably jump out of this scheme um, in this playbook. So let's just go ahead and run with a halfback draw. 
cover four. And we're going to do random cover four, it's going to sh and it's going to kind of give us a taste of everything. So once again, cover four, we got the halfback draw. Usually cover fours are really, really affect are, are, get, are, are vulnerable to, to draw play. So if you got a guy who runs a lot of cover four, you can use a draw play to get yourself some pretty good, uh, you know, pretty good yards. And then uh, if you start stacking the line or squinching the line, you can do um, the blunt uh, play. Look at this. And I, I've got a fairly slow uh, running back here, so we're just going to go ahead and take this. Uh, that kid almost one house with that, with that particular play. Uh, what about flanker, uh, flanker under? So if we get matching principles, Hopkins should be wide open. Otherwise, uh, we're just going to basically go ahead and see Hopkins. Easy completion right there against with matching principles. Uh, let's see here. Let's try this again. Let's see if we get the matching principle. Guy defender falls back, and then get a get house opportunity if he does palms. I don't really know a lot of people that use palms. Maybe that's my own precedent or, uh, pre uh, prejudice when it comes to cover four. I don't use palms because I don't like the matching principles. It just seems like uh, it's gonna you're gonna get yourself in a situation where you're not gonna you're gonna give up a lot of big plays because usually defenders will get themselves out of position. There's a lot of switching too, uh, which isn't really an ideal situation. So look at us. We're just going to pop this up here and try to get a nice big completion over the middle. So that's just that's just uh, CPU love right there. Four verticals. All right, so got a guy that's running a lot of cover four. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is do that deep comeback route. Defender doesn't f doesn't float. See, look, you just go ahead and check that down. So the defender actually pulled out of the way. Uh, he didn't play that that route correctly. Uh, cover four. Once again, you can go and drag up. This should basically get cleared out. And you can see right here, uh, you can do a pass lead off to the sideline, and you'll be able to get a nice little completion. So same reads with that. Cover four drop. Once again, we're uh, cover four uh, with the play action. Uh, let's see what the, if we get matching principles here. Okay, matching. Boom. Defenders out of the way. Touchdown with palms. You're not gonna. You do uh, cover four with any kind of matching principles, where it's palms or quarters. Uh, you're going to give up a one-play touchdown with this secret play. So let's see if we can try this again. Draw play. Oh, good. nice little block shed right there by the defensive line. Uh, but you can see how I had a step on the opponent with that. So let's go and see that. Oh, okay, we're actually we're completely covered up. So we're just going to go and pass it right over the middle of the field. So there was actually three defenders in the area, and this is my progression. I'm just waiting for... Um, <clears throat> for my opponent, uh, I'm, I'm watching this receiver right here. This route is just a—it's just a preoccupy route. I just want to pull defenders down. So see how the defender actually floats. These defenders float up, um, and then he pulls down. These guys are completely backed off, so I know I can't take that shot. So I'm just going to make my next progression, which is going to be this wheel um, in route, and I'm just going to go and drop that down. But look at that—I'm picking up. Oh, this is what uh, 10. 20, 25, uh, almost 30 yards right there with that play against cover four. So let's just go ahead and get this back. All right, so all right, so my view screwed up. I, I probably have to go and get rid of this, but look at that. Come on, come on, come on, come. Got it. There you go. So huge play opportunity right there. Almost a one-play touchdown in that type of situation. So, this is a this is a formation I would recommend taking a look at. The whole basis of this formation starts with uh, with basically this halfback draw, and it's a play that the ha this pump draw that I've been using online has been been a play I've been using religiously, and it's just it's a good way to establish a run and keep things going. So, uh, TJ, go ahead and take a look at this. This is uh, I'm going to show you some of these portions, but I didn't really this play. Um, which is the, the pump uh, draw shot. I didn't really break this down in a couple of videos, but I want to show you this. I'll, I, I've got another um, a patron that is uh, basically got a coaching session, so I actually have to run some um, schemes for him. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. So once again, uh, TJ, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. I'll be rolling out some more uh, tip videos and stuff like that for you, buddy. But uh, go ahead and take a look at the scheme. This is just for you.